everyone. Welcome to week three of our weekly love challenges. Are you excited? I'm so excited and I just can't hurt it. <laughs> I'm about to lose control and I think I like it. Are you excited for what love is bringing into your life? Are you excited? Are you are you are you in an emotional state that that is able to allow that which you are desiring to continue to be drawn to you? Or are you in an emotional state that's kind of pushing it away like, "Oh, wait a minute, you know, what, what I'm bringing is going to make her excited, but she like real depressed. I mean, I, I can't bring it right now. Or, oh, wait a minute, you know, what I'm bringing him is going to make him feel a lot of contentment and, and joy. But what he's feeling right now is like a lot of a lot of stress and, 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 and you know, um, uh, loneliness. So it, 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 no, 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 no. Right. We, we want to be excited. We want to be anticipating. Uh, we want to be believing and we want our emotional state to convey that. And so we are at week three. You are doing an awesome job. I want you to know that. I'm so proud of you for pressing towards this mark. I'm so proud of myself. I'm so excited for all that is coming for us. And in my imagination, I'm like, whoa, what if we can like get to like week 100? Wouldn't that be crazy? <laughs> That would be so bananas. Well, let's jump right into week three. I will be taking the challenge from my book, The 30 Day Love Challenge, to love yourself and others more deeply. Of course, we're not doing this in 30 days. 30 days is an awesome goal, but we're trying to go deep. How deep can you go within within 30 days, right? I mean, you, you can, but you kind of just really scratch the surface. We, we need the repetition. We need the consistency of it. And so uh, the information for this book is on your screen. If you desire to cop a copy for yourself, and we are on page two. It says, if you want more love, do you give it? If you want more love do you give it there's this song by commission that i love it says love isn't love unless you give it away there is um this aspect of love that calls us to give we now we can give what we feel comfortable giving but even more so than that give what's what's difficult to give give what is is challenging to give and you know what that is for you but throughout this whole week when you have the opportunity to give to somebody any single person you have the opportunity to give especially if you're giving something that is hard uh, for you to give I want you to give it um, this could be by way of your time this could be by way of your energy this you know you could be given just your attention listening to them um, you could be tangibly giving them something giving them goods giving them money the scripture says God so loved the world that he gave and it is love that God is desiring to receive back from you and I know this because you know Moses he gives the command to love the Lord your God with all your heart soul and your strength but then Yeshua really prophesies it he says you shall God when it's all said and done the, the, when you really see the nature of God when you really see what this whole love thing is about you shall love the Lord your God with all of your heart with all of your soul he adds in with your mind and then he says with your strength which lets me know that sometimes it's hard to love in this way it's 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 hard to be able to give Especially when you have the opportunity to give to someone who hasn't done you right. You know, think about giving to a ministry. The, the ministry is put on your heart and you give your money to a ministry that, that did you wrong. Think about that. that. That is like, what? That just breaks me, right? That's the love we're stepping into. So whatever that looks like for you, I want you to... If you want more love, it says, do you give it? I want you to give extravagantly this week. When it comes up for you, the opportunity, whoever it is, I want you to give. I'm reminded of the young rich ruler in scripture. And he, he comes to Yeshua and he asks him, what, what do I have to do to um, inherit eternal life? And uh, 
Yeshua gives him a list of stuff that he already knew, right? And and he's like, oh yeah, I've, I've done all of that, you know, from my youth up. Yes, look at me, you know, doing the right things. And then he says, go and sell all that you have and give to the poor. And the scripture says, the man went away sad because he had great riches. These things that we have determined are our riches for us, you know, where are valuable for us. And it's true. These are these are things that are big aspects of our worth. Right. And it's like, well, no, I need to know my worth. You know, that person doesn't deserve my time. That person doesn't deserve for me to bless. And that person doesn't deserve love. Love isn't based on what a person deserves. Love gives because that's the nature of love. Sell. Sell what you have. Give it this week. When the opportunity comes up, especially the hard thing, whether you know you have to, to give an apology, whether you have to uh, give whatever it is, whatever is going to happen this week, I want you to give and I want you to give extravagantly. And so I'm excited for what is going to take place in and through us, uh, in our lives, in the earth, because we are choosing to walk in love. I want you to like this video. I want you to share it with someone else who you think would be great to jump on this journey with us. And who wouldn't be great? Who doesn't want the reward of love? You know, there are tangible rewards uh, for the lover, but then the ultimate reward of a lover is the ability to love. The ultimate reward for us is to be able to be in the earth in our God identity, to be in the earth walking in our God nature. I mean, if we are walking as God on the inside of us, what manifests on the outside of us? I mean, you think about it, God has no lack. God is able to create out of nothing. That's coming from the inside. What Yeshua did in the earth, it came out of who he was, who he knew that he was, who he had practiced being his God self. And so leave a comment sometime this week on how it's going for you. Don't pressure yourself. Don't feel stressed. I want you to have fun with this. We're going to keep going every single week. We're going to pursue this love thing with all of our heart, with all of our soul, with all of our mind, with all of our strength. And if you want to stick around and listen to this song by commission, you are welcome to do that. And I will see you next week.
I got to 